Hi guys, welcome back to a new Boom Beach video. This video is going to be something pretty weird. So I am only allowing myself to use half of my boats. So before we jump into any battles, we're going to jump into this player, we're going to drop half my boats, and we're going to kill off my troops. Now I don't know how this video is going to go. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to clear my entire map in one video. I logged back on and I had like 30 notifications for my archipelago so there's no way i haven't been online since my last video i've just been insanely busy the last few days but here we go so i have four tanks and a hero and i have to defeat bases without okay i cannot defeat that base i have to defeat bases without using more than four boats now uh i'll probably end up switching combinations a little bit later we could swap out and get scorchers and drop down eight scorchers if we wanted to but i might do that later starting out we're just gonna load up tanks but we already have tanks loaded we're gonna just use tanks for a bit to see if we can defeat some players and hopefully i'll show you some overpowered combinations because if i can defeat bases using half of my troops maybe there's something wrong with I don't know, tanks, per se? It's an unpopular opinion, but uh, you guys know how I feel about the tanks. I love using them, but they're just very overpowered. So, this is going to be hard, because I need to keep my hero alive. I'm honestly really liking where my hero is walking. Honestly, Bullet couldn't be walking a better path right now. Um, all my tanks are still alive as of now, which is super nice. But... It's about to get pretty, pretty hairy. So my main goal is to keep my troops alive. Um, there's a cannon. Oh shoot, I just wasted something. No. Okay, so we're gonna get critters down on that side. We're gonna drop a shock on the shock launcher. I really just need my hero to stay ahead of my tanks when we come up to this shock blaster. If my hero can stay in front of my tanks, okay, let's shock it. I've already lost one tank. The boom mines are getting awfully close, but here we go. Okay, so I think I think we'll be fine. We might lose my hero still. I really need that uh, shock blaster to drop. Come on, guys. Okay, it looks like we're gonna take down the shock blaster and we're gonna activate our hero one more time. We're pretty much all focused on the core. Uh, we'll drop a barrage on the top just so we don't lose any more troops. We lost one troop against a level 69 and we lost half of our and we didn't use half of our boats which is fine i mean honestly i probably could have defeated that base using half my warriors using half my scorchers using i don't think i could do eight max half my max i i honestly don't think i could do that okay i'm gonna load up our tank again and then I'm gonna do one more attack using tanks and then I'm gonna transition into scorchers and then I think I'll end up going into mechs as well just to get a little a little bit more variety right now for you guys it's all for you guys so we're gonna drop a barrage we're actually gonna drop a shock on the SEMO I don't like SEMOs you guys know how I feel about them this is not good this is not good. I'm just gonna have to keep shocking the SEMO. Uh, I missed the boom cannon. That was a mistake. That was a major mistake. I think we'll end up losing because of that. That boom cannon was able to take down a few of my tanks and I had to transition onto the top with my shocks, leaving this boom cannon open to expose my side. Okay, this is a good. That Simo is going to rip apart my troops. My poor tanks can't really deal damage. This guy doesn't even have much health on his base, but maybe tanks aren't as good as I thought they were. Okay, so, I mean, we still have a chance here. We're gonna reflare to the left side. Um, the only issue is that boom cannon, but I think we'll be fine, honestly. Like, we have, we've only lost three tanks out of 12 total. So we've lost a fourth of our tanks. There goes another one, so it's a little worse than that now. We're gonna flare to this boom cannon. We're gonna take it out. I know that this bottom boom cannon is active on me. Let's get out of here, guys. Dang it. Oh, that bottom boom cannon ripped apart my troops. So I have 
five, six. I have six tanks left, and I did not see that sniper tower on the top. I don't think a sniper tower will be able to stop my tanks, but you never know. It's a level 69, so it's the same level as I am. Um, they have ice. We're at about 950 medals, and we defeated them using half our tanks. And they had prototypes, just like the last player, prototypes. So tanks, man, tanks worked incredibly well, but now let's transition over to... Uh, we'll, just, we'll do mechs next. I kind of want to do the mech next. So we'll do mechs, and then we might do a scorcher attack at the end of the video. So half my troops means we get eight mechs, which is still crazy good. But the only thing about mechs is, I think I could do an armory upgrade later. I should probably be boosting, oops. I should probably be boosting my resource reward. Luckily we only defeated two bases, so it doesn't really matter, but I want to make sure I can get as much resources as possible for the bases I attack. Alright, here we go. We're just going to stack up our mechs on the left-hand side. Now, mechs kind of suck. <laughs> and when they came out, we basically said, don't use mechs until you have eight or until you have two in each boat. I would say the same still probably holds. I still have two in each boat, but we can't hold on to that. We're using half our boats. I'm not liking this boom cannon. We'll have to shock it again. I know that we just dropped critters and that kind of like counteracts it, but uh, we can't really do much. Okay, so the issue with mechs and scorchers we'll see is bullet will stand incredibly close to them because they're very close range troops, which sucks for two reasons. One, all the defenses that target bullets will be also hitting my, my mechs, and two, my mechs can easily get targeted by buildings because they'll just be standing out in the middle of nowhere and just get fried. So this base is honestly going pretty well. There is that shock launcher, which is kind of stopping me. Let's see if we can take it out. It's being a little bit of a nuisance. Okay, I mean, we'll be fine. It's just a little bit annoying. So we lost about half my mechs. We honestly might lose this mech. No, okay, so, oh yeah, we did lose a different mech. I think. Cool. Well, I mean, still, we defeated a level 69 using half our boats again, proving nothing. But in my mind, it's proving that mechs are better um, than Scorchers. But now we'll load up Scorchers. Now I know I have tanks. I accidentally clicked that. We're just going to ignore that. Um, I'm just not going to drop them on the next space. All right. Please be easy. Okay. I think I could do this. Hero, and then let's unload our Scorchers. This time I'm not going from this side, just because Scorchers have more... Oh my gosh, bullets getting fried. Let's just get a couple shocks down. Help out our troops a little. Oh no, this is not good. I hit so many shock mines, my tanks haven't moved in a good minute. Okay, here we go. Now we can shock, as long as we have one shock launcher, Clump shocked. I think we're good and we can make progress on the base. It's his shock mines at the beginning that completely threw me off. He had an insane amount of shock mines, but Scorchers are really good. I don't even have my Scorcher Tri Boost boosted up right now, so um, we do have to use a little bit of energy to take down some of these buildings because Moon Cannons and Cannons. Oh, that was a mistake. And I just killed my own troop. What am I doing? Okay, we have to retreat, guys. Ooh, guys, get back. <laughs> Not retreat, retreat, but just like regroup because I want to win. I don't want to lose any battles, guys. Oh, I'm going to lose that Scorcher. Frick. Okay, okay, guys, guys. Get, get up to the top. If we can take down the rocket launchers, we'll be fine. And I'll end up flaring to the shield as well because... If we can take down the shield, we'll be fine. Not the sky shield. The um, the base shield. So, come on, guys. Let's make this a little bit faster. Okay, so rocket launchers are taken out. I'm a little nervous flaring to the flamethrower, but I don't want to stand inside the mortar range. Honestly, everything that hits me right now could be a threat. So, 
We're just trying to avoid as many buildings as possible. Okay, we're gonna take out the shield generator. And then we're gonna drop a flare on the bottom. And we're gonna hit that core with everything we have. And I think we'll be fine. I'll be able to activate bullet a few times and we won't lose a match in today's video. So we'll hit the flare to the core, we'll activate my hero. Honestly, if I didn't have bullet, none of this would have happened. So maybe bullet is the overpowered one or just all three combinations are overpowered. Now would a video from Christian from Cosmic Duo be complete without a warrior attack? How are you guys feeling about half warriors? If I can find a base that doesn't have a shield generator, I want to test my skills. So load up my troops. Um, I already scouted the space, but we'll see what it looks like. Okay, we can do this. This is like the easiest base ever. Here we go. So let's drop a barrage, take out mines, artillery, four warriors. I guess the biggest thing is trying to have enough energy for a second round of shocks, but I might not even need it. I don't know if this player has ice doesn't look like they do I don't yeah it's full offense and I have so much damage for my warriors I think I'll be fine just unload a few shocks and we'll watch my warriors okay not as much damage as I thought they would do but we'll be fine we'll be fine so I don't think we lost a single attack in today's video I'm super happy we were able to destroy all these bases using all these different troop combinations let me know down below if you enjoyed it if you like this kind of content and I can do maybe some more challenges in the future anyway I'll see you guys next time bye